Hi guys, it's Hi Sarah guys. and Aaron, <laughs> and we're from the Zebra Tribe. Um, we were tagged by the Reeds. Uh, they're really cool vloggers, and they tagged us in tagged us for the what, the vlogger tag slash YouTuber tag. And so we're gonna do that tag, and we have a few questions that we would like to answer. What type of vlog channel do you have? Um, what kind of vlog channel do we have? It's a family vlog channel. Yeah. Lots of fun and excitement, <laughs> it's, as yeah, you know. It's basically a family vlog channel. It's really about our life. We're a young family. Um, we homeschool our kids and we're also interracial. So we just wanted to showcase some of the dynamics and some of our... Our, li our life adventure being interracial. Exactly. And young parents, yeah. What is your vlog name and what is the meaning behind it? Um, pretty well, simple. It's, it's the zebra tribe. It's because uh, the zebra represents black and white and we also like zebras so it was pretty fitting. Yeah. That's right. How long have you been vlogging? Um, we've been vlogging for about three months. Yeah, about three months, yeah. Yeah. Pretty short time. What type of camera do you use? So we use a Nikon Coolpix P530, I believe. Okay. That's, that's the What off. editing program do we use? Um, we use iMovie. We use, yeah, we use iMovie. Pretty simple. I use iMovie. All right. How do you feel when vlogging in public? It doesn't bother me Yeah, at all. it's all right. It's, well, for me, it's when I'm holding the camera, it's a little different still. I mean, people look at you still, and they're always interested in what you're doing. You know, you can tell <laughs> by the way they look at you. That's true. But so. it's not, for me, it's personally not that big of a deal. I don't. I'm a very outgoing person, so it doesn't really matter to me. What is the best thing about vlogging? The best thing to me about vlogging is just getting to document my kids. Um, to be honest, I just started this, we started this vlogging channel, but we've been documenting our kids for a while and we have plenty of home vi like videos that we want to start putting into our channel. So we've been doing this for a while. It's just that now we get to share it with you guys. Yeah, that's right. So, so everyone gets to laugh along. What is the worst thing about vlogging? The worst thing about vlogging? Um, I don't know. I guess if you get into it, you get into it and then sometimes things happen or uh, just an incident happened that you wish you could have had the moment to cap capture the moment on camera. No, I don't think that's, that's like the bad. worst. Yeah, what's the worst thing about vlogging? There's nothing. I don't know. The vlogging it is... takes up a lot of space on your hard drive. Oh, I guess so. That's I guess that's one yeah. of the big things. Yeah, any kind of video editing. Yeah, that takes up a lot. Yeah. Do family and friends like being a part of your vlogs? Um, um, we just started vlogging, like, yeah. so we haven't even really brought our vlogging too much around friends because our friends, a lot of our friends, don't even live where we live. Yeah, uh, no one lives live, where we live. We live quite a ways from from everyone else and our family, so that's why you don't see them as often. But um, you, are, they've been on the vlogs and they've been okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No issues. Besides making memories, what do you want viewers to get from your channel? I don't know. Entertainment. Just Entertainment. watching another family, I guess. And, yeah, some and, life lessons. Yeah, and some life lessons. And, I mean, because, like, like I said, we homeschool. So there are little things here and there that you can, if you're ever interested, you can learn about, too. And I just want people to um, just see that. Like it's a relationship just like any other and you can just get to see the dynamic of our family and we just live life just like other people, other people. of other races, you know? Yeah. But I just want them to get um, enjoyment. Yep, definitely. What tips do you have for future vloggers? <laughs> uh, I guess make sure you have a, a good camera, you know, a good quality camera in terms of just the picture because that's important and I guess um, make sure you have a theme 
Okay, I don't even really know if we have a theme per se, but we're new vloggers and we're still trying to figure it out. So I don't even really feel like I'm in a place to be giving too much advice. But um, just from what I've experienced thus far, having a good quality camera is helpful. What is the craziest thing you've ever vlogged? Speaking like what is the craziest thing we've ever vlogged? It's, uh, I don't know, that's a good question. We don't film like super crazy things at all. It's pretty, <laughs> I don't uh, know. Not to say that it. Uh, I don't know. We include boring things, but I don't think we've really filmed anything crazy. No. Usually, when something crazy happens, we're not holding a camera. I guess so, yeah. Right? So. If you could vlog anywhere, where would it be? <laughs> That's an interesting question because. Um, I just like to vlog wherever I am. I don't personally feel like I need to be anywhere specific to vlog, but I mean, if I were to vlog anywhere, maybe um, someplace warm. Someplace warm. With that, nice lighting. Yeah. And long daylight hours. Yeah. It's not Canada. <laughs> no, we love Canada. It's just the days are short sometimes. Especially in the winter. Okay. Um, how long do you plan on vlogging? I don't have a In set time. Definitely. Indefinitely. That's exactly what was in my head. We don't have a set plan. We're just going with the flow and vlogging and documenting our lives. And I guess whenever we run out of hard drive space. <laughs> but then you buy more hard drive space. <laughs> What vloggers do you look up to? I don't personally look up to any vloggers because I mean I don't know anyone's lives like that or I don't know them that personally but there are vloggers who I think are really cool. Do you like to add music in your vlogs or special effects to or keep it more real life? Oh. Um, I do like to keep it as real as possible, but I do like to add a little special effects to it because it makes yeah, it interesting. Definitely. There are some ideas that we've had um, floating around that we haven't introduced to the vlog channel, um, but they would definitely require some special effects, I think. But uh, more real life, I think that's cool because everyone can relate to that. Who does the editing? Me. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, she does. I do the editing. She for does the, the vlogs. editing, yeah, yeah. I mean, how long does it take to edit? Um, it all depends. It can take Peace. it can take anywhere up to two two, three hours sometimes. Not really, it all depends on the effects. I would say that mostly for my beauty channel, I would say it takes that long. For just these kind of vlogs for this vlog channel, it takes maybe like two hours. How long is your longest vlog? How long is our longest vlog? Um, that's a tough question because I don't have my uh, I don't have access to that here. But I'm thinking it's around 20, 20 minutes. Who would you like to do a collab with? That's the last question. Who would we like to do a collab with? I definitely think it would be cool to do maybe a collab with um, The Reeds. And I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I think uh, there's a lot of interesting people. There are lots vlog. of, yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, it's not like we have an idea per se about who we would want to. But I mean, we're open to ideas. Well, I'd definitely like to collab with other family vloggers out there who are interested. So that is the end of this tag guys um i hope you guys enjoyed watching it and i think i have to tag someone this shall be interesting who shall i tag and i